We're given f of x equals sine x, where x is greater than or equal to negative pi divided by two, and less than or equal to pi divided by two. For part a, we're asked to determine the value of f inverse of square root three divided by two without finding f inverse of x. And then for part b, we're asked to determine the value of f inverse prime of square root three divided by two, or the derivative of f inverse at x equals square root three divided by two. To answer part a, since we know f of x has an inverse, we'll use the fact that if f of a equals b, then it follows that f inverse of b equals a. Another way to think of this is if the graph of f of x contains a point a comma b, then the graph of f inverse of x must contain the point b comma a. Which means to determine this inverse function value, if we can determine our next value, where f of x equals square root three divided by two, we can determine this inverse function value. So we're looking for a value of x where sine x equals square root three divided by two, and x is in this interval. Because square root three divided by two is a nice trig function value, we should recognize this angle, but if we need to, we can look at the unit circle. And because x is between negative pi over two and positive pi over two, we're looking for a point on the unit circle where the y coordinate is equal to square root three divided by two, which would be this point here in the unit circle, which means sine pi divided by three equals square root three divided by two. So going back to our work, f of pi divided by three equals sine pi divided by three, which equals square root three e divided by two, and therefore it follows that f inverse of square root three divided by two must equal pi divided by three. So this is the answer for part A. So we'll say since f of pi divided by three equals square root three divided by two, f inverse of square root three divided by two must equal pi over three. And now for part B, we're asked to determine the value of f inverse prime of square root three divided by two, or the derivative of f inverse at x equals square root three divided by two. So looking at our notes below, if f of a equals b, and x is differentiable at the point a comma b, and f prime of a doesn't equal zero, then f inverse of b equals a, and f inverse is differentiable at b comma a, and here's the formula that we need, f inverse prime of b equals one over f prime of f inverse of b, and because f inverse of b equals a, this simplifies to one over f prime of a. So applying this formula, we would have f inverse prime of square root three divided by two is equal to one over f prime of f inverse of square root three divided by two, and we know f inverse of square root three divided by two equals pi over three, this is just one over f prime of pi divided by three. Well, we know f of x equals sine x, and therefore f prime of x equals cosine x, and therefore f prime of pi divided by three equals cosine of pi divided by three. So if we need to, going back to the unit circle, since x equals cosine theta, notice cosine pi over three is equal to one half. So this is equal to one half, which means f inverse prime of square root three divided by two equals one over one half, which equals one times two over one or two. So for part b, f inverse prime of square root three divided by two equals two. So this tells us the slope of the tangent line to the inverse function at x equals square root three divided by two equals two, which is the reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line to the original function f at pi over three. So before we go, let's look at this graphically. In red, we have the graph of the original function f of x equals sine x over the given interval. To graph f inverse of x, we can reflect f of x across the line y equals x, which is graphed here in black. So this purple function is the graph of f inverse of x. To determine f inverse of square root three divided by two, 
we actually use this point on f of x, where we found f of pi divided by three equals square root three divided by two, and therefore f inverse of square root three divided by two equals pi over three. And then in part b, we found the slope of the tangent line to f inverse of x at this point is equal to positive two, which is equal to the reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line to the original function f of x at this point here, the point pi over three comma square root three divided by two. So the slope of this green tangent line is equal to one half. I hope you found this helpful.